gallons. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Bissell Maple Farm's YouTube channel. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. And um, thank you for supporting this channel. I hope you get some time off with family and friends, uh, get some rest and a little comfort and joy. As for me, I will be taking Jonathan and Jared to Lambeau Field to watch the Cleveland Browns take on the Green Bay Packers. And we're pretty excited about it. In this episode, Mike and I did a little bit of multitasking. Um, we had a lot of bourbon barrels to dump. Um, they were ready. Um, the syrup had been in those barrels long enough. The flavor is amazing. It smelled amazing in the building. I wish you could smell what the facility smelled like while we were dumping maple syrup that had aged in these barrels. While we were dumping bourbon barrels, we were boiling down rinse water from washing the drums. And you can check all that out in this episode and um, wait for it, possibly this episode. So Mike and I are pumping syrup for Monday's production. And we have all of these bourbon barrels to dump today. And we need to boil down sap while we're doing it. So we're pumping from this sap tank.
probably another 500, maybe 400 gallons left. So about 4,400 pounds left to pump through. So we're pumping it from that tank over to this tank. This is bulk tank three. It's on a glycol loop, it's cooled. And uh, team's got a scale here. So you can see the scale's climbing. Almost 13,000 pounds. <clears throat> that put this one on that one. It's sticky. Let me spray that before we get all cracked. On that yeah. one? All right, let's swap them. Indiana Jones, baby. That's right.
Still boiling. We're making flat pan syrup here. I learned what flat pan syrup was from uh, Andy Humphrey in Wisconsin. I didn't know what flat pan syrup was, but it's when uh, producers just keep adding sap to their flat pan and uh, never draw off until it's syrup. And you create a very dark flavored maple syrup. Uh, he said it's pretty good tasting, I believe him. Um, but yeah, this uh, kettle, we've been running it hard. And I'll bet you we got another, I don't know, 200 gallons of boil down. So this is definitely not the most efficient way to boil. As Mike and I are working together today dumping bourbon barrels, we're just adding two. We're just grabbing a pail every now and then as we walk through and throwing it in the kettle. And... Uh, Sometimes she gets a little thick. So, flat pan syrup. Um, flat pan syrup is a little different than typical maple syrup um, made from a, a traditional evaporator. So, flat pan syrup, it, as you heat the maple syrup over and over and over, because the sap that came in at the beginning of when you filled the pan is the same sap that's been in there cooking as you've put additions of fresh sap in the pan, you get more caramelization of the maple, so it's gonna have a stronger maple flavor. You get more color. Color and flavor, there's a correlation. The darker the color, the stronger the maple flavor. So Mike and I, we kept adding sap to the, to the steam kettle, which essentially cooked it over and over and over, which gives you a stronger flavor. Some people like it, it's great for making beer. That's why we call it brewer's grade. So it's great as an ingredient. Syrup, 66.7. The key here is don't just put it straight in or the steam will puff it right back in your face. Uh -huh. So you want to pour it off to the side. See that? We're going to fill this kettle up again, Mike. Start all over. I can't believe how much syrup we're making out of washing drums. This is more syrup my dad used to make in a year. Yeah. Just washing that syrup. Uh huh. My dad's syrup is better than this. Oh, yeah. This is flat pan syrup. Cooking it, cooking it. I don't think I would consider this table grade. Brewer's grade. that. That was a good move. Jeez. All that sap in the that was like at least a teaspoon of syrup. And down the drain. I always say, get rid of the evidence. I don't want anyone seeing that I got syrup on the ground. Okay, after all that, Two drums of syrup. Two drums of syrup from all that rinse water. And lots of boiling. But it's two drums of syrup. This is more syrup than my dad used to make in a year growing up. So it's pretty good. We used to put this down the drain. I'm pretty proud of this, even though it probably took 100 hours to boil it down. It's still 80 gallons of syrup. Thanks again for your support, and if you haven't, uh, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe right down below. It's the easiest way to tell us that you are enjoying the content in the channel, and uh, go ahead and drop a comment down below on behalf of all of us at Bissell Maple Farm. We wish you a Merry Christmas.